Hi everyone, in today's class we are going to see about PLC program for sequential motor control. In many industries there are lots of motors are used. In some application we need to start more than one motor. When we have low incoming power supply rating, then there is a chance the incoming MCB will trip when one or more motors will start in parallel because they will consume more power. The problem can be solved by using a PLC program for sequential motor controlling. In this example, we consider three motors which are going to be controlled in a sequence. Here, motor 1 will start, then after some delay period, the motor 2 will start. And after some delay period, motor 3 will start. So, that the whole operation will take 10 seconds uh, uh, to start all the motors uh, sorry, sequentially. By using the delay, we can uh, avoid the problem of uh, consuming large power during uh, initial startup. 5 second of time delay is to be provided between operations of each motor. So, here we having uh, three, uh, uh, here we having uh, uh, two, two input state and uh, four output state. The two inputs are uh, start push button and then stop push button and then four output states are cycle on and then motor 1, motor 2 and then motor 3. So, here this is a uh, later logic for a uh, sequential motor control. So, this uh, later logic is divided into uh, three networks uh, for understanding. That. So, in network 1, we having a uh, start push button and stop push button which is connected uh, serially to the cycle on. So, when the start push button is pressed, the cycle on will make, uh, will on and this will uh, make a uh, motor 2, motor 1 to be on. Now, the loop is continued. So, in the network 2, the, uh, the uh, normally open contact of motor 1 will make a uh, timer to start. Here we set a uh, time period of 5 second and this is uh, for uh, this is a uh, delay period. So, we can change this uh, 5 second of delay period to some other delay period according to our application, according to our need. So, this makes a uh, motor uh, 2 to start after uh, the time uh, after the time period of uh, 5 second. This uh, motor 2 normally uh, normally open contact will make a uh, timer uh, 2 will start. So, here also we set a uh, time um, delay period of 5 second after the time delay period of 5 second the motor 3 will start. So, uh, here we have uh, given uh, no contact of uh, M2. When uh, stop push button uh, is uh, pressed, uh, that is it uh, goes through, the normally closed contact will be activated which makes a uh, cycle uh, off and also makes a uh, uh, all the motors to be off. This logic uh, provided uh, a basic idea about an uh, applications of PLC in controlling a uh, uh, motor sequentially. Thank you, thank you for listening.